Hello, hello everybody. Hello, dog. Welcome, welcome back uh, to my channel. Today we are going to speak. <laughs> we're going to speak about my house in Thailand. Uh, clearly, I do live in a mess, so expect the worst. I'm going to show you around the area, what's happening. I explain you how long I live here and why I live here uh, as well because we do own the house I will tell you guys how we bought it how it started and how much did it cost so if you are interested in that just stay around um, this is my dog by the way say hello Charlie I hope you will enjoy the video and uh, let's go for it so yeah welcome to my house Ignore the cutter and the drill. It is my house for real. Give you a tour in a minute. Everything happens all the time when you don't plan it, right? It's not as easy as I thought to get in. Thankfully, the fence is quite low. I'm not giving up. key broke so now I have to break in inside my own house I swear it's mine I got so lucky lock just unlocked itself Stare in my ass. And to prove you that it's my own house, this is before I start breaking in. As you can probably see, the key broke in a half, and half of it is inside the lock. And my house. And uh, obviously my dog. Alrighty then. Now I'm going quickly to show you around my house. Uh, starting with all the areas, all the mess. As you can see for pictures and videos. Uh, yeah, we are very, very messy. What can I say? Uh, my excuse would be, well, we have a cafe where we all the time that's why we have so many boxes at the same time my girl runs some other three companies so we kind of busy so maybe let it go I will be talking about my girls companies in a bit probably in the next video so stay tuned for that uh, now let's go back to the our house right so what is the most interesting in my opinion and the coolest thing my girl did uh, she actually designed all this house herself which is insane if you think um, yeah so what happened she simply uh, went online find a online website don't know why I did this uh, online website and register for free trial for one month during that month she learned how to do it she did it saved the pictures showed for a construction guys and cancelled the contract so it kind of was free uh, I know it sounds kind of strange because in in Europe or in UK you have to have a like proper plan I believe you have to have architect to do that for you in Thailand that's not really a case so yeah uh, we still have pictures of how originally it's supposed to look so obviously gonna show that in a bit uh, some things had to be changed because we actually start running low on the cash at some point 
and obviously everything casts so that was a little bit tricky but so yeah so we changed a little bit things plus construction guys did few things wrong but we will get back to that so how much did it cost well uh, the land itself cost us around half a half a million baht which is around 10,000 pounds and the house cost us roughly two almost two and a half let's say million baht and all together that added up to around three million uh, which is quite a bit in my opinion for Bullram because it's not a capital uh, and uh, you can easily buy a house in Europe for a same price probably would have be a bad idea but uh, we did need a house in here for my wife's parents and uh, it's convenient because now we live here right and was it a good idea to buy a house in Thailand nah probably as well no no uh, because if you think it through, like I have a couple of friends who rent apartments here and uh, one of my mates actually lives in Burra and he rents three bedroom house and he pays only 8,000 baht a month which is actually there is cheaper options don't misunderstand me but he rents a three bedroom house he could easily rent a one bed for half of that but obviously he wanted some space so I understand and uh, yeah so he rents it and if anything wrong he actually no need to worry about nothing if something wrong with the building and the landlord don't want to fix it he simply move out in our case it's opposite like if something wrong well we have to fix it end of the day is our house right uh, so something to consider uh, especially because we paid such a high amount of money uh, if you will do some math, uh, actually, he can stay, if he would pay the same amount for the rest of the time, right? Uh, he could stay almost up to 34 years paying that low rent. And only then he would be paying more than what we did. Yes, you can argue that we actually ending up with the land and the house right which we would need to sell which we could sell and that would actually pay back the money true although if you think if you drive around and look at the areas uh, quite a few empty houses here in Bururam city growing so I do believe it will get better and more expensive in the future Although at this point, if we would decide to sell now, we would definitely lose money on that. So that's another reason why I think it wasn't the best decision. A couple of more things you need to be aware. Uh, as a foreigner, you actually can't own the land. So that means you have only two options. You have a business partner or you could be married like I am. And in this case, you don't need to worry about pretty much nothing unless your wife decides to leave you, which is always a concern. Just uh, something to think about. Although if you want to buy a condominium as a foreigner, that's totally fine. Uh, there is few things you should be aware, like example, uh, in whole building, uh, I think, maybe don't quote me on this, uh, it's have to be like 51% of the whole building owned by Thai people, so Thai nationalities. And the rest 49% of the building can be owned by foreigners. So it's pretty good, like you pretty much can live anywhere. So, so to recap, I don't think it's a great idea to buy a house, especially if you are young. You should not settle down in one place especially in Thailand come on you want to travel you want to explore go go for it our case was slightly different so I don't have any regrets although I don't recommend for you to do so yeah so something to think for you guys thanks for watching uh, next episode I'm gonna talk about my cafe my business which we own in Bururam um, don't want to spoil it 
but it's pretty good episode especially if you're thinking to open business here so many things i didn't know before we opened uh been a pleasure thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye for now